Alright y'all boys, I'm back. I'm back making another video and this one is of me making a jacket for one of my clients. So you're gonna, I'm just gonna walk you through what I do. So right now I'm just pinning the pattern sheet that I made myself on a design that he wanted. And right now it's on a fold line because this is the back of the jacket and which is which requires to be on the fold because um, this one I don't need to stitch from the middle so and I need two perfectly sequenced equalized sides if that even makes sense I don't know if that whatever okay so <laughs> we're gonna go and do that and just cut it I pinned it to the fabric so that it doesn't move and I cut it correctly um, and yeah I really wish that the muslim fabric that I use as a mock version wasn't the same color as the fabric that the guy wanted but hey you know what can you do that's the color that muslim comes in I'll be surprised if it does come in another color then I would have been shocked because I never knew that my whole life now um no I'm just going to move the fabric more and I'm going to pin down the front side of the jacket which needs two pieces so I do not have to uh, do this on the fold and uh, since this fabric is already folded in uh, in two in half um, it'll, it'll, it'll already give me two pieces uh, once I cut it so hopefully that makes sense but um, so I'm just pinning it together I know you, you might have a hard time seeing that hopefully the lighting isn't too bad um, for you guys so I'm just kind of snipping it, snip, 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 snip. Look at your girl, look at your girl go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We just, we we just, you know, we just taking flight right now. We just, we just going with the flow right now. So I'm just snipping up everything, you know, just doing what I gotta do to make sure that this, this stuff comes out correct. So that's what we're doing right now. Now, we're going to take that bad boy aside. Just put it aside for the moment. Now, this what I like to do. I like to cut pieces of the fabric off so I could just have a new fresh lineup, you know? Like like, like you boys like to say when y'all go to the to the, uh, to the the uh, barbershop. You want a fresh lineup. So that's what I'm doing over here. Even though it ain't a straight line, but you know what I'm saying. Now. This is the sleeve that I'm putting on right now, which has to be on the fold. So just so y'all know, don't just be cutting it on the fabric. Make sure it's on a folded line. And you need two of those. So this is only going to cut you one because it's on a folded line. So as soon as you finish cutting that, you're going to need to cut another piece. So right now, I'm just cutting up one right now. Uh, just for the time being because I have to cut a different piece of fabric that's not on a folded line so I'm going to move this fabric up just a bit just so I could you know get a good amount of it on the table and right now this is what I call a hoodie cascade because the client wanted a certain design in the front of his uh, jacket which required it to be a little wavy in a sense and that's what you know people call a cascade so what I did, I figured out how to make a cascade and I went ahead and just invented my own type of uh, pattern sheet to where I don't have to cut through two different pieces. It could all just be one piece that connects with the hoodie. So that's what I did because a cascade is more so like a circle with an opening. And as you can see, the big chunky part is the hoodie. Um, so. I mean, you'll see everything once I show you the final product and everything because I know you're probably confused like what the hell is this girl talking about? So um, now, might I tell you, now this was very difficult for me to create because of the fact that um, I never made this type of, you know, I never made a cascade before. Like I've made a, I, I mimicked it at a certain point, but it wasn't, you know, I don't even know how to say it. It wasn't exact. Because I, I kind of made something like this for the guy before, but it was a different design in a sense. And now I revamped it because I couldn't find a pattern sheet. And I'm so glad I did because this is a way better design. Um, I kind of like the turnout of this one. 
you know and 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 that that that's what it's all about when be, when we're being a fashion designer you you kind of see stuff that you like that you don't like so you just kind of try out everything and i'm glad that i was able to make a different design um so i'm definitely gonna make sure that i keep this pattern sheet because i don't know where the other one went i searched i searched high and low i searched high and low and i couldn't find it um so right now i'm just you know taking my pins back now might i tell you th this this pin cushion wrist thingy is such an investment for me because i just like you know it being handy you know what i'm saying um wish it was a little bit bigger though because i need more i, I like to have a lot of pins on me and you see there's some of them that be sticking out so now this right here is the second piece of my sleeve remember I said we needed two because it's on a folded line so once you cut it on a folded line it's only gonna cut one so here I am just just cutting up that um, sleeve part and the fun thing about the uh, the sleeves for me now is that I figured out how to make the sleeves without um, on you know easily without trying to um, you know mess it up because I used to have a hard time with sleeves because of the measurements and everything as far as like just the arm whole not the sleeve itself because it you know once you pin it together it just doesn't fit and, uh, that's a different story I see I'm on a different part right now I'm going too fast <laughs> okay so um right here I'm connecting the front and back of the jacket and right here this is just the seams of, of the sides and the shoulder area so I'm connecting the front and back pinning them together pinning up the the shoulder piece and everything so uh, I'm and I'm <laughs> no I'm, I know you're like why did she just throw her pin cushion I was hot so I took out my jacket <laughs> I was burning so okay so right here I'm just pinning everything um, and the way you see the way I'm pinning it horizontally instead of pinning it vertically on the seam line is just way easier and you can sew way quicker when you're doing it this way especially if you're doing it on an industrial machine which moves extremely fast you want it to do that because if the sewing needle uh, catches the pins while it's on a vertical with the machine that's not gonna be good for you bro I'm telling you right now it might break the needle it will break the needle okay because it's done that several times with my other machine now you see how fast that went? I know you're probably like, oh, it's not going that fast because you sped it up. I'm telling you, it could go that fast in the real-time motion. I'm telling you that right now. That thing is fast. I was just going slow because this is my first time using this type of machine. I just recently got this machine. And I kid you not, I didn't know how to use it at first. Um, but then, you know, once just playing around with it a little bit, getting a little um, just what I wanted with the person who I got it from. Um, it was like second nature, really, honestly. If you're thinking about getting an industrial machine, just get it. Because I think it's definitely an investment, especially if you're trying to do this fashion design as a full-time career and everything. So I'm definitely thinking about getting me some more because they're definitely an investment. Now, this is just me uh, sewing the front and back side seams and the shoulders together and that's pretty self-explanatory all right now i'm taking my pins back just taking them bad boys back you feel me now this right here i changed my thread to the light one because i had a dark one in there and i'm you know and i was just kind of waiting for my thread to get filled so that's why it was like that because this machine allows you to sew and thread a new bobbin at the same time. <laughs> so cool. Now, I am over here just sewing up my sleeves on the open area. Alright? Now, you don't sew the whole thing just to where the opening is of, like, the bottom of the armhole in a sense. I, I should have showed that, you know, if I knew what I would really be saying in this video, but I don't. I'm just kind of going as it goes. So I sewed the second piece of the armhole. And you know, now I am pinning the hood to the, the hoodie together. Um, but I'm just pinning it on just uh, the head seam area, which is like the, the top of the head to the back of the neck. Um, 
and now I'm just sewing that together. Now I know you're like, why did I switch to a um, different machine? Now this is one of uh, th this is actually my first machine, so I got two machines: this one and the industrial machi machine. And I like to use this one to uh, kind of clean up my raw edges because it gives me several different zigzags that I could use, um, and overlock stitching, and just a whole bunch of different type of characters that I can use so I like to use a machine this machine for that but bef before I because I recently just got the industrial machine so before I got that I had this brother machine and it literally it can do anything I'm saying right now this is what made my prom dresses you feel me if if y'all see my prom dresses go ahead and check that out at uncommonfashions.com you know just gonna put that right up in there so if you have seen my prom dresses you would not believe that I did it off of this but I definitely did don't be underestimating these these portable um sewing machines they they be doing the work they be doing the work so throughout this whole rest of this video is just uh, me kind of showing you um just kind of me cleaning up the edges and everything for um the inside of the whole fabric i think this is the sleeve area and what i kind of like to do is just um, before I attach the sleeves because what I what I do is attach the front and back of the jacket and then um, I clean the edges of the inside of the jacket and then I clean the edges of the um, sleeves before I attach the sleeves to the jacket um, because I don't know I just find it to be easier for me to do that and then I connect the sleeves to the jacket as well as the hoodie I, I like to do that as well um, Let's see here. I don't even know what this is right here. What, what the hell is that? I think that's the hoodie. So I'm just cleaning the edges of the hoodie too now. Um, I know you're probably like, okay, you you holding your hands pretty close. That's because I am experienced and I have done this several times. And the reason why I'm doing that is because you want to make sure that, especially because the hoodie is curved, you want to make sure that you're guiding the fabric into the sewing machine. I would advise the people who are not that knowledgeable of sewing and want to take the time to definitely take your time and to be careful where you place your hands. Um, and I'm just curving the fabric as it goes so that way the needle gets it. Um, and the only reason I'm saying be careful where you place your hands is because I remember when I was learning how to sew in a sewing class and then I saw this one girl, she was going too damn fast or whatever she was doing, I don't know, the next thing you know the needle went through her finger. So yes, and it can do that, that's how powerful these machines are, so don't get it twisted. Y'all need to be careful out here in these streets. Y'all worried about other people but y'all need to worry about what's right under y'all nose, these machines these machines now oh you know what I know what this is it's the cascade I think I think yeah so so and that's why I'm curving it the cascade is a circle and what I'm doing is I'm doing a zigzag on the on the um what is it on the outside opening of the cascade because I want to kind of clean up the raw edges of that because I'm not going to I'm not going to double it like they say like it's like I don't know I can't explain it on this one but it's like I can't fold it like like I like some people they'll go on a straight line of a fabric and fold it twice and then sew a straight stitch to kind of clean up the edges. I can't do it on this because it's circular and it's gonna have a couple of like just kind of weird knots in between of them because of the fact that it's not a straight line. So what I do, I like to do a zigzag on the edges of it and then clean it up and then I fold it one time. So that's what I like to do. I don't know what other what other people do when it comes to um, cleaning up the edges of a uh, fabric that's not straight. So right now, this part right here, I'm sewing um, just a straight stitch on the fabric of the hoodie and the jacket. So I'm connecting those two together. So that way I can make, you know, everything a whole. Um, Dang it, I really wish that... Oh, and this right here, I'm showing you how to change the bobbin, which is fairly easy. This one is very easy. You just pop that bad boy in and you're done. You know, without having to have a bobbin case. This this, this one right here doesn't need a bobbin case, and it's so much easier to find a bobbin for this one than the other uh, industry machine. Right now, I can't even find a damn bobbin. I'm, I, I think I'm going to have to buy it online because I went to Joanne's Fabric. Nothing. Nothing fits that damn machine. 
So I'm still using the same two old bobbins that I got when I got that machine. But this one right here, the Brother machine, most of the, um, not all of the, most of the bobbins fit this one though. So that's why I like this sewing machine because I got a whole bunch of bobbins for it. So you see right here, I'm just. I'm just connecting everything together. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. Now, um, now if you guys want me to be more detailed on everything or want me to do something else for a video, just let a girl know. You feel me? I'm I, I, I'm an open book to to try to do as much as I can. You know, I'm trying to get everything, you know, going. I guess in a sense on just trying to. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> just let me know what y'all want, and I'll do my best to kind of. You know, do what I can for y'all boys. I catch y'all later. Be cool, you could fall back, boy. I wish I'm in order. But every time I